Friday, the 4th of the 11th, 2016. Okay, last night I put up a text message and alert for next week uh, from Monday onwards for Queensland with uh, widespread significant thunderstorm activity. So what I thought I'd do here is to show you some of the raw data model charts that we're looking at, just to give you an idea of, of why I would go and, go and put something up like that. All right, so blue shaded areas is, is instability areas. Um, light blue is considered to be weak instability. Uh, darker shades of blue are, are high, and then purple is, is very high instability levels. Right, so that's on Monday. You can see that activity stretches right down the Queensland coast and into southeast Queensland. Now, obviously, there's no guarantees with, with just because it's shaded blue, there's going to be thunderstorm development. However, it is indicating areas of instability. We then go and crunch various other levels, humidity and, and temperatures and all sorts of stuff to see, see what, um, what it's doing to produce the forecast. So this is just a guide and it's showing you. This is Tuesday. November 8th, this is next week, you can see broad areas of instability right across uh, the southern half of Queensland there and particularly into southeast Queensland there. There's some high to very high levels of instability. Move on to Wednesday, it's quite relentless, this system, which it's just been a long time coming, I guess, and it is November, so we should expect some back-to-back -back storm activity. You can see there through central and southeast parts of the state, uh, down here in southeast Queensland, very high instability levels as well. On Thursday, it continues, really ramps up in southeast Queensland again, very high. These are going to shift around, obviously, over the next few days and as we as we get towards the exact day. However, again, I'm just repeating that I'm giving you an idea as to how much instability is sitting across parts of the state. And this instability, in a lot of the times, is very high. So there's going to be a risk of, of severe thunderstorms. So on Friday, it shifts further to the northern half of the state. Saturday contracts back down to well most of the state, but it does pull back down into the into the southern parts as well. And then on Sunday, it's pretty much all the eastern part of the state. So you can see pretty much on every day from Monday next week through until Sunday, there is thunderstorm activity. And and what it, the, the, the higher the instability levels, the higher risks you have of large hail, damaging winds, heavy rain, and frequent lightning. Also, then when you have strong winds, you have the added um, factor of very dangerous thunderstorms. Uh, and then obviously supercells when we have turning with the winds and turning with height. Now there could be a few of those around as well. So guys, our forecasting will be done over here on Higgins Storm Chasing Premium Membership. An absolute bargain there, guys. To come, so come over and support us and, and you gain access to our high resolution, resolution forecast maps, threat maps. We have chance, moderate risk, high and extreme on those. And then and there's a lot of text that goes with it. Uh, South East Queensland and North East New South Wales have a high resolution version of that map as well, guys. So head over to our website, HigginsStormChasing.com, the, the premium membership tab, and then sign up, guys, for, for 27 a year. It's really a good value for what you get all year round. All right, stay tuned. We'll, we'll go on and, and produce more videos and, um, and certainly ramp things up as we get closer to next week. Stay safe, guys. Have a good weekend.